All right, what is going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Ben Richardson. I am a personal trainer. I'm also a chemical engineer. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about five weight loss mistakes to avoid. So if you're new here, I do want you to subscribe to my channel because it's gonna teach you how to live a healthy, sustainable life through nutrition. So go ahead and subscribe and turn the notification bells on too so that you don't miss out on any of my latest content. Make sure you stick around for the whole video because you're gonna to wanna to know all five of these weight loss mistakes to avoid. So let's go ahead and get into it. So mistake number one is doing too much cardio. A lot of people seem to think that doing more exercise and doing a lot of cardio is the key to getting quick weight loss results, but this is just not the case. The reason is that hardcore endurance cardio, like running or using the elliptical, maybe doing the stationary bike, things like that that are very endurance focused, they're just gonna increase your appetite. And at the end of the day, your calories is what is going to drive your weight loss results. So if you're making yourself more hungry by doing a lot of these cardio methods, then you're kind of just shooting yourself in the foot because you're gonna get hungrier, you're gonna to wanna to eat more, and you're just gonna to have to rely on sheer willpower to resist those foods and ignore your appetite and ignore what your body is trying to tell you. Rather, I'd suggest that you just aim to get 10,000 steps in a day. Just go for a walk and get some more steps in, more general movement. Walking has a very neutral effect on your appetite so you can adhere to your calorie deficit and you can still burn a few hundred extra calories if you get those 10,000 steps in per day. Mistake number two is cutting calories too hard. So you definitely need to eat in a calorie deficit if you want to lose weight. Reason being is that there's 3,500 calories and one pound of stored body fat. But the problem is a lot of people just say, okay, great, I'm just gonna eat 1,000 calories per day so that I can make really quick results. And after like a week or two, they find that they can't stick to something like that because it's just not sustainable, it's not doable. That is not enough food for you to sustain the normal functioning of your body. So a good calorie deficit that I recommend is anywhere between 1,700 to 2,100 calories. This kind of just depends on how quickly you want to make results, but 1,700 calories, I would not go any lower than that. This is enough food to support your body's energetic needs, but it's still a large enough calorie deficit that you can make some pretty quick results. 1700 is kind of what I would refer to as an aggressive calorie deficit as opposed to a mild calorie deficit, but stay within this calorie range and don't go any lower. Mistake number three is restricting a macronutrient group. So we live in this keto friendly culture as of right now, and carbs just seem to be demonized. A lot of people jump on the low carb or no carb trend, and this is just, it is a horrible mistake. Again, this kind of brings in the whole principle of sustainability in your diet. You're not gonna be able to eat a low carb or no carb diet for any more than probably a month. I've seen people do longer than that, but the overwhelming majority of people cannot sustain a diet, low carb, no carb, for any more than a few weeks even. And same thing with fat. Going super low or cutting out fat completely from your diet, there's just no benefit to it. In fact, adhering to a well-balanced macronutrient diet is key for you feeling good while you are losing weight. So the calorie deficit, that's what's gonna take care of the weight loss. But if you incorporate a proper macronutrient split on top of this, you're going to feel good and you're definitely going to lose weight. And that's why adhering to a proper macronutrient split is so important eating enough carbs, eating enough protein, and eating enough fats, that is going to play into your body's functioning. You're gonna feel good, you're gonna have more energy, you're gonna sleep well, you're not gonna be as hungry. All of those factor into adhering to a proper macronutrient split. So don't restrict a macronutrient group. Eat your protein, eat your carbs, and eat your fats. Mistake number four is prioritizing meal timing over the calorie deficit. So if you want to learn more about this, I made a video about intermittent fasting versus calorie restriction. That's a good video for you to check out. But meal timing is a huge thing right now. The whole intermittent fasting thing or strategically planning like eating one meal per day or whatever. People seem to be under the impression that your meal timing matters way more than the number of calories that you're eating in a day. The whole 16-8 intermittent fasting method, that's a really popular one. 
I do like intermittent fasting. I am a fan of intermittent fasting, but here's the thing. Intermittent fasting or meal timing in general, that is not how you lose weight. Eating in a calorie deficit, that is how you lose weight. It doesn't matter if you eat one meal per day, it doesn't matter if you eat six meals per day. If you eat in a calorie deficit, you are going to lose weight. If you don't eat in a calorie deficit and you spill over into a calorie surplus, you're not gonna lose weight. If anything, you're gonna gain weight. So that's a very important concept to understand. It's that you have to prioritize your calorie deficit above all else. And again, if you check out that video, I do go into a little bit more detail on how to effectively use intermittent fasting to lose weight, but just make sure you have your priorities in mind. And then mistake number five, is just drinking too much alcohol on the weekends. So I get it. I work a nine to five job like most people do. And a lot of people just live for the weekend. You know, the weekend rolls around and we want to we wanna relax. We want to chill out. We've been working hard all week and we want to blow off some steam. Kick back, you know, hang out with friends, hang out with family, put back a few drinks and, you know, start feeling good. But the problem with drinking too much alcohol is number one, alcohol is calorically dense. So there's nine calories for every gram of fat. There's four calories for every gram of protein and carbohydrates. And then for alcohol, there's seven calories per gram of alcohol. So the first problem with alcohol is that it's more calorie dense. Like there's, there's a lot of calories when you consume alcohol. And the second problem is when you start to drink too much, the whole drunk munchies thing, that is definitely a thing. And for whatever reason, it does seem that when we drink a lot of alcohol and we get those drunk munchies, we want junk food. We don't want chicken breast and rice and, you know, avocados and stuff. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I certainly don't want those things. I want Reese cups and pizza and cake and ice cream and just junk food. For whatever reason, it's definitely a thing. When we drink too much alcohol, we really start to crave junk food. And all of those calories really, really, really add up. Even if you just go out for one night on the weekend and you drink a lot of alcohol and you end up eating a lot of junk food. So while I do not think that cutting alcohol out completely, you don't have to do that. That's not the route that you have to go. Just learning how to enjoy alcohol while being disciplined and on a fundamental level, being responsible and being an adult. That's the key to sticking to an effective weight loss strategy and getting the best results at the end of the day. So those are five common weight loss mistakes that you want to avoid. Stop doing these things and you'll start making progress in no time. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and let me know which of these weight loss mistakes that you're gonna stop doing. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be posting content like this every single week. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you got a lot out of it. Take care everyone and I will see you in the next video.